Hello everyone, I'm back with a review today. Um, it's this foundation, it's a NARS uh, Sheer Glow Foundation and I am in the shade Cardex and it's for medium dark 3. I hope you can see that. Okay, I absolutely love this foundation. I've never really felt um, like this for a foundation. That's basically because I don't like wearing foundation. But uh, as we all know, we all have, uh, you know, imperfect skin and it's always nice to have a nice base where it covers the imperfection and evens out the skin. So I have tried several foundation, MAC, I've tried um, um, drugstore brands like uh, Maybelline, L'Oreal and all that, you know, uh, foundations that I can get my hands on, basically. So uh, I know in Singapore, there used to be a Sephora counter and uh, mm, during my last visit they, they, they have taken that counter away. So I got this foundation when I was in London and uh, I wish I got two bottles of it to be very honest because I really really love this foundation. Okay now let me get into uh, why I like it and why I you know there are some points that I don't like about this foundation and how I use and stuff like that. Okay. The parts that I like about this foundation is that it's really natural looking foundation. It doesn't cake up. Um, it's not like a studio fix where, you know, it's like a medium to heavy coverage kind of a foundation where you can build on. And I just feel that with that foundation, you just don't see your own skin. But with this NARS uh, Sheer Glow Foundation, it's very light. So it's like a light to medium coverage kind of a foundation where it really evens out imperfections and I like a foundation to be that way. That's basically because firstly I'm for one who doesn't like to pack on makeup you know. I don't mind having heavy eye makeup but when it comes to foundation I prefer the foundation to be um, you know um, sheer on my skin light and it doesn't feel cakey and heavy and uh, this does the job. Okay, I had the privilege of um, using this foundation in two countries and that would be Singapore and Sweden. As you know, both countries have got very different climate situations and um, in, uh, okay, in Singapore it's hot, humid, you know, it's, uh, there's, there's a lot of moisture in the air and of course lots of sunlight so it's like you really perspire and usually whenever I wear any foundation it just melts off you know you can see after an hour application of foundation I tend to get shiny and then I have to keep blotting so that really takes away most of my makeup but um, I found that uh, applying a mattifying base helps so in Singapore my routine was moisturizer just on the outer part and of course eye cream and then I would leave the t-zone the areas where I have the shininess coming through I would apply uh, this makeup forever all matte primer this works but I um, found that it's not the best primer it doesn't really give that really matte matte um, you know um, effect instead it does give a semi-matte, very dewy kind of a finish. And that's totally fine with me. I'd rather have that dewy finish than be very oily. So, after this primer, after I let it sit for a minute or so, and then I apply this foundation. And I found that using your fingers or using a uh, dense dome brush like this, works best. It really gives that very nice airbrush kind of uh, uh, effect on the face. And also um, this foundation is a medium, sheer medium kind of a coverage. So it is buildable. However, if you have, you know, big issues, very problematic areas with uh, scarring, acne scarring and stuff, probably you might have to use a concealer to go on and, you know, cover those imperfections but for those of you who have very minimum skin issues as in like acne issues and stuff but instead you have hyperpigmentation and stuff this foundation is the one for you okay so um, back in Singapore 
after this routine with the primer, you know, when I apply it on, I noticed that this foundation stays on kind of good for like maybe five hours or so. After that, it just starts to melt off and, you know, of course you start to, you know, uh, secrete oil. That's because it's hot and humid and you perspire, so you tend to like blot away most of the makeup. But then again, it still, you know, um, stays, you know, it's not like it oxidizes and turns orange or, you know, dark and yucky color. So I noticed that with this foundation, it kind of works in Singapore, but it's not the best. Um, and if you want to make this work, you have to use a primer to hold, you know, to to let the foundation be held on, you know, by something else. And that would be a good primer. And then now coming to uh, Sweden, I noticed that this foundation is like the best foundation to use and that's basically because as you know it's very dry during winter and this one gives a very nice moisturizing feel it doesn't feel dry and it it doesn't flake up absolutely love this because it doesn't turn dark it doesn't oxidize it's a perfect match for my skin tone uh, i am actually a nc45 nc44 nc45 and sometimes i can be in between NC45 and a little bit of NC50 when I mix it all together. So I find that this foundation works perfect for my skin tone. So for those of you who are fine, who are willing to pay a little bit more and um, you know who wants a foundation which feels light and natural on your skin, this is the one for you. Now, the downside to this foundation is that it doesn't have a pump and it doesn't have SPF. But for me, I don't find that that's really a problem because with SPF, I can always apply, you know, a separate sunblock or sunscreen, you know, on my face. I don't really need it on the foundation itself because when you have SPF, you know, when you take photographs and stuff, it just has that white cast, you know, it just bounces back and then you have that white face. So, um, you know, like if you are going to wear this foundation in the night, then it's good because it doesn't have SPF and you don't have to worry about having that white mask kind of a face uh, if you're doing flash photography. So I think that's, that's fine with me. And then uh, with the pump, well, you know what? It's fine also. You can just pour out what you need because this is quite a thick consistency. It's not very runny. It's like in between... It's just nice, you know, like, um, it's like butter almost, yes. So, uh, it works fine with me without the pump. I have no complaints. However, I do know many YouTubers or many makeup enthusiasts have, have complained saying that, you know, it would be better if it came with a pump. You can buy the pump, but you have to pay extra, which I don't think I want to spend that money on. So that's pretty much what I have got to say about this foundation. I absolutely love it and I would totally recommend it to those who want a foundation that looks like or that feels like natural skin. So let me know what you guys think um, about this foundation. For those of you who have tried it, of course, and let me know if you know of any dupes. I would love to try, of course, because this is quite pricey and uh, yeah. Because who wouldn't want a cheaper, inexpensive, you know, alternative. So, till next time, you take care and I'll see you guys with another video. Bye!